it's a great privilege to work with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, on the promotion and advocacy of the Millennium Development Goals, the MDGs, as we popularly know them. My work focuses on MDG number seven, sustainability. But as we all know, MDGs are interconnected. And that is why it is very important for all of us to be conscious that as we work for one MDG, our mind must also be focusing on other MDG. We cannot, for example, eliminate or reduce poverty or give health to communities unless we have clean drinking water and we have adequate nutritious food. Yet we know that unless we have forests that give, give us water, that control our rainfall patterns, we will not be able to practice sustainable agriculture. We know that if our children are hungry, they will not be able to follow the instructions in school and we will miss an opportunity that is extremely important. But I want to emphasize that in all of the activities that we do in trying to achieve Millennium Development Goals, we will not be able to do so unless and until governments combine rhetoric with action at the national level. It would be much, much easier to achieve these goals if we had the support and the political commitment of governments. And so I do want to make a special appeal, especially for, uh, to the leadership in our region in Africa, that one of the reasons why we are the region that has lagged behind with the MDGs is because unfortunately, we still are not prioritizing MDGs at the national level. There are many things we do. We have armies to support. We have civil services to support. We have infrastructure to support. And so sometimes we sacrifice such issues as education, as health, as agriculture, where we need to invest in order to improve livelihoods of our communities and especially the health of our mothers and the children. So as an advocate of the Millennium Development Goals, I want to appeal to all governments to support the Secretary General of the United Nations in achieving these goals so that we can have healthier communities, more productive communities, and therefore happier and more peaceful communities in the world. Thank you all very much.